Hi, boys and girls. Um, today, what we would like to talk about in math are what we call solid shapes. Now, a solid shape is also called a three-dimensional shape. What happens is if I would take a blanket and I put this shape on a desk or a table and cover the shape with a, a cloth or a blanket, you will be able to know that it's there. Yesterday, we talked about plane shapes like a, tri a triangle, a circle, a rectangle, a square, a hexagon. Those are what we call flat shapes or plain shapes. Today we're talking about solid shapes and they are three dimensional. Now, there's several that we can talk about. A couple are easy to draw, but unfortunately there's a couple that are harder to draw and so I'm not gonna draw them. I'm gonna show you what they look like. And so what I want you to do is think about these shapes and where you see them in your house. OK, so the first one I want to talk about is called a rectangular prism. Now, what you'll notice is the word rectangle in that. And with a rectangular prism, you have the ends, the sides or faces of this shape are rectangles. When I would go around and I have an example of a rectangular prism here, and when you look at most of the faces, the face is the front, okay? And, or this, the whole front, but I can turn it around and see it has lots of different faces. And most of the faces of a rectangular prism are a rectangle. It does have two of the faces are squares. OK, and so in a rectangular prism, it reminds me of what? What does this remind you of? Boxes. Boxes are rectangular prisms. So when I have this, a rectangular prism, it has six faces, six faces. And the face is a rectangle. Most of the faces are rectangles. Now, it does have corners. It has lots of corners. It is where the sides come together. And so when I look at this, I can see that there are four corners here. But if I turn it to the other side, there are four corners here too. So it has eight corners. Eight corners. Okay, now the next shape I want to talk about is a cylinder. Now, a cylinder is a shape that it can actually roll. It can roll. And this, the face of a rectangle of a of a cylinder is what shape? Yeah, it is a circle. So it actually has two faces, one here. And one on the other side. So it has two faces and no corners. Two faces and no corners. And the face is a circle of a cylinder. Now, what something in your house that has this? Like I have a soft drink can has that. You have Cans like green beans, peas, comes in a cylinder, okay? An oatmeal, like an old-time oatmeal box, has that, okay? So a cylinder is a shape like this, a tennis ball uh, container, okay? That is a cylinder also, all right? The next one is a cone. Now, a cone, when I look at it, reminds me of an ice cream cone, doesn't it? And so when I, it, one thing that would be that shape is an ice cream cone. Also, like a party hat. Lots of times a party hat is a cone. Now, a cone only has one face. One face. And that face is what? Whoops. Uh-oh. Sorry. 
The face is a circle. The face of a, a comb is a circle. So it has one face and that face is a circle. It has no corners. Now, it does come to a point at the top, if you can see that, comes to a point, all right? Um, the next one is a sphere, sphere. It has S-P-H, remember the P-H goes together to make that F sound. And so a sphere, that's a sphere. Our earth is a sphere. And it has no, cor no faces and no corners. No faces and no corners. What's something you know that is this shape? No faces, no corners. Something that is the shape where I already said our earth is a sphere, okay? A ball is a sphere, all right? It's round, no faces, no corners, okay? Again, if I took, put this on a desk, and covered it with a blanket, you would know it's there. And that's why it is called a three-dimensional or solid shape. So it goes this way and this way, but it also comes up. And that's the third dimension, all right? Our next one is a cube, a cube. Now a cube and a rectangular prism are somewhat the same. The difference of a cube is all of the faces are squares. It has six faces and all of the faces are squares, every single one of them. So that's how it's different than a rectangular prism, okay? So it has six faces and eight corners, okay? But each face is a square in a cube, okay? Remember with our square from yesterday that all the sides of a square are the same, okay? The last one I wanna talk about is a pyramid. Now, a pyramid is looks like this, okay? And when we have a pyramid, we have the base of the pyramid, which is a square, and then each of the faces on this part are what? Triangles, right? A pyramid has a one face at the bottom, two, three, four, five faces. One is a square, the rest are triangles. So five faces. Let's see how many corners. One, two, three, four. This is really not a corner at the top. That's where it's coming to the point, okay? So it has four, four corners, four corners. Okay, so these are called solid shapes, okay? They take up space. If I cover them with a blanket or a towel, you can tell they're there. And like the plain shapes we talked about yesterday, that they're flat, okay? The examples that we talked about, rectangular prism, a cylinder, a cone, sphere, a cube, and a pyramid, okay? So today, you are going to uh, watch the video in Brain Pop, do the quiz in Brain Pop, okay? So talking about these three-dimensional shapes. Remember, one. this is one way how, how the length and the width and then up coming off of the table. That's what the third dimension, dimension is, okay? That if I cover it with a blanket, you can see it's there. It's not flat, like a plain shape, like a square and a circle and a triangle, okay? All right, so that's what we're talking about. Remember, this is what we call geometry, okay? When we're dealing with shapes, we're talking about geometry, and this could be something you do when you get in high school. All right, you have a great day.